Gear has changed in the Division 2, be it with the new addition of brand sets, the altered gear talents or the removal of the major and minor attributes and replacing it with a general category called attributes. That right, gear now only has one attribute category. Let's take a look at what the armor rolls are on each different gear piece and how the different gear attributes work and how they roll on the different gear pieces as well. Let's get into it. For those that are new to the Division franchise, basically everything in the game, including gear, has stats. Some bonus stats like extra damage or health can be rolled on your gear, that's what we call attributes. Like the Division 1, the Division 2 comes with 6 equipable gear items. The mask, chest, holster, backpack, gloves and knee pads. In the Division 1, each gear item came with different attributes, some unique to that item. And it looks like this is the case within the Division 2 again. Each item was rolled with two attributes. This could be once again because they didn't want to show us too much. Or each item now rolls with the same amount of attributes. Anyway, let's go over the confirmed armor rolls and attributes for each gear item, starting with the mask. The mask rolls with armor between roughly 6 and 7,000. Besides that, it can roll health, health on kill, all resistant and damage to elites. The numbers you see on screen are minimum and maximum values we have seen from the gameplay demos. They are also based on level 29 and 30 superior and high end items, meaning the value you see on screen isn't what you would call precise. But it gives us an idea on how they will roll. This also might be subject to change because of course we're 9 months away from the release of the game and the developers might change something in the meantime. The chest piece, rolling with armor between roughly 18 and 22,000, has different attributes. It can roll bonus armor, which is a flat amount instead of a percentage, health, skill power, weapon damage or headshot damage. On the holster we've seen armor roll around 7800, besides that we saw two attributes, the critical hit chance and accuracy, probably has more but we haven't seen it in the footage. Moving on to the backpack, we notice it has between 10 and 24,000 armor and similar to the chest piece it can now roll with a flat armor bonus, health, skill power, weapon damage, critical hit chance and critical hit damage. The gloves roll their armor roughly between 6 and 7,500. They are also unique in the fact that they are the only item that can roll weapon specific damage attributes. It can roll with light machine gun damage, shotgun damage, marksman rifle damage, assault rifle damage, submachine gun damage, pistol damage, critical hit chance and stability. Finally, the knee pads can roll with over 14,000 armor. The attributes it rolls with are bonus armor, health and critical hit chance from what we've seen from the gameplay again. After taking a look at all the attributes on screen, it's quite clear that Masses has removed or not shown some of the attributes from the previous game, like exotic damage resilience, kill XP, ammo capacity or status effect resistances, like burn resist or shock resistance. We don't know if they will be in the game, we'll just have to wait for Massive to release the game or tease any info on it. So now we have a bit of an overview of all the attributes that can roll on the gear. I have to say I like the old system with the major and minor attributes a bit better, but I don't mind the new system either, as long as it keeps adding depth to the game. I have to say some of the attributes were pretty good, like weapon damage or simple armor rolls or even health rolls. Let me know what you would roll on your gear items from the attributes I showed you in this video. Show me in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. For now, thanks for watching, hopefully until next time, and peace out.